the 10th Street corridor in Greeley was um, a little unusual. We have uh, about four miles, 11 traffic signals, unevenly spaced, different traffic flows in the a.m. and in the p.m. and on the weekends, and we have been running time of day plans out there for a long time. The state traffic engineer thought it would be a good idea to try the InSync system since there weren't any adaptive projects in Colorado. When I first saw this, I was a little skeptical about it. As you go, okay, what is going to make this adaptive? We, we've gone through time and time again of corridor timings, signal timings. It's all been a, a set amount of time, and we try to optimize that as much as possible by putting it through different types of programs. Well, now all of a sudden, Rhythm comes out with this in-sync processor that says, hey, listen, it's going to do it all for you. It's going to think about it. It's going to measure it. It's going to adapt to traffic flow. Wait a minute. First of all, we're skeptical. We're engineers. You know, let's, let's see it. Prove it first. We were looking at hopefully this in-sync processor and the way it adapts the traffic signals to lessen the amount of rear-end crashes. What happens is when you have really bad signal timing is that people get frustrated. And when people get frustrated, they make poor choices. And so they're more likely to have an accident if they're frustrated, they're stuck in congestion, they're stopping and going all the time. If they're just moving along, they're, they have a better attitude and they're safer drivers. It was sold to us as more of a plug-and-play system. And, um, so that it was something that we could operate within our own central system software. We operate a McCain system, and it seemed reasonable and that we could do it relatively easily. That was one of the reasons why we chose it. It was a plug and play. We didn't have to do many changes to what we currently have. Whereas some of the other programs that are out there, other ACS lights, some of these other ones, they require system changes. We didn't have to. The people at Rhythm Engineering were incredibly helpful. This was all new to us. I mean, we were starting off at the bottom of the learning curve. And uh, throughout the entire process and design process that, uh, to put this project together, they were there every step of the way telling us what we would need. Right now, we feel real comfortable with operating it and maintaining it and making any changes that we need to make to it. So it's been great. Right now, according to the, our, our after report, we have taken away almost six million stops per year. Well, that's a huge amount when it's calculated out in a year's time frame. To, to have six million cars or six million people not stop at one intersection or at multiple intersections, that's, that's to me, that's incredible. Which to then say is almost what we have, over 55,000 gallons of gas and 72,000 hours. Could you, what could you do with 72,000 hours? We haven't had to make any changes in months. InSync has definitely taken away our workload on that corridor. Oh, we get so many compliments from citizens and politicians um, from local level to state level. Um, I had no idea that it was going to be this efficient. The newspaper wrote a big article for us on how the city and state finally did something right. You know, traffic signal's always that bad boy that gets a lot of bad press. Everybody thinks we did a really good job using the InSync system. We had great success. We had our executive director come up on a tour. He traveled 10th Street, and he did not have to stop once. Wow. It was his topic of conversation the rest of the day, that he did not have to stop on this corridor once. That's all because of InSync. It's all because of these InSync processors have learned what the traffic flow is like, have learned to talk to each other through the new, you know, their communication system, and have been able to say, I need to turn green. InSync made a great impression on everybody in Northern Colorado. And it's been, the project has been an incredible success. We far exceeded any expectation that we had with it. 10th Street was an experiment, and we think it was highly successful, and so we want to do more. So. Before, there was one signal that just drove me nuts that I always had to stop at. Guess what? I don't have to stop at it anymore.